All right, we're back at uh, Robin Center after this fighter's win over LaSalle here this afternoon. Coach Schaefer joins us now, and uh, Michael, this was a, a, you know, you had a big win, you had a huge advantage there. They chipped away at it, yeah. but you guys held on down the stretch. Uh, both teams kind of went cold at the end, but yeah. you made enough plays, and Claire Holt was big at the free throw line to close it out for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, that's what we were talking about at halftime. You know, what do we have to do to fix half? Because when we come out in the third quarter, it's just it's, it's brutal. We don't we don't have the energy. We don't have the focus. And I didn't think we played the second quarter particularly well. Um, you know, but I thought we had a, a good enough first half that we should have some momentum up 15. And then we just got tentative. And we got we got made poor decisions. We got lazy. And then defensively, we started fouling. And I was, you know, that's frustrating because I think they're better than that. And, um, and, and fortunately for us, Claire was able to knock down the free throws. We knew she was going to get fouled. So we were fortunate that we were able to put her in that position. And then... Um, you know, I thought um, we we made the plays when we needed to make plays. Claire also hit a big three when we needed a kind of a buffer there to send it to eight instead of five. And, um, you know, at least we were able to make the plays we needed to make when we needed to make them. Now, that's two big games now from her in a row. Yeah. Uh, she had the, the Mason game the other night, hit, yeah. up, hit the freeze. Tonight a little bit different. Uh, five assists, yeah. distributed the ball. Yeah. Jade was the benefit of most of that. So uh, she's starting to round into form here, I guess, is toward the end, getting past that freshman point and getting comfortable, maybe. I don't know if she's comfortable yet, um, but she certainly got challenged. Uh, uh, you know, she was a really good high school player, uh, scored over 2,000 points, won state championship in the you know, largest classification in Alabama. Every day in high school, every day, she went to the gym on her own and wrote, logged it, wrote it down what she did. She got here, and apparently she thought it was going to be easier because she quit doing that. So I challenged her and I said, you know, your your habits were this is what you did. So she has been in the gym relentlessly for the last two weeks. And I think you can see what that looks like when a player commits to, to wanting to be good. She just needed a gentle reminder. And I think what we're seeing from Claire is the learning process. But I think she's putting in the work that's uh, allowing that learning process to, to take shape. And I'm pleased to see it because I do think she's a good basketball player. You got Ruffin back in, uh, yeah. and she gave you a few minutes. Looked like maybe the wrist was bothering at the, free, at the free throw line, yeah. but uh, still able to get rebounds, still able to get points, and significant minutes, especially defensively, and, and on both ends of the floor for you. Yeah, and you know it's hard because it is her shooting hand, you know, and that's that's tough. And then you know she's the, the way she plays, um, she's going to get fouled, and so the free throws are something that, it, I mean, it's almost a challenge now. It's almost like we'd rather not get fouled. You know, you'd rather get the layup. Um, but it's something we're gonna have to work on. I mean, we, we don't have, we have a short amount of time. We don't have much left in it, but we just gotta work on it and see if she can figure out how to how to knock some of those down, at least go one for two. Another huge game from Jade Hines Clark. Yeah. Uh, 14 points and 15 rebounds. It's kind of become an old hat for her. I think this is her 10th double-double this year, but yeah. uh, just big numbers in this game. Today. Jade was, um, I got a text from Jade uh, after the Mason game apologizing because she didn't believe that she, she thought that she let her team down in the way she performed. Um, and obviously she she came out with something to prove and I thought she played really well. I think she had a, a, a I thought last night, or uh, you know, I thought inside she had a battle. I mean, she had two big kids in there who were pretty good. Uh, but I thought Jay was able to find some looks again from Claire a lot of times, and then you know able to stretch the defense. We, she's really worked on that 15 foot jump shot, and I think really improved that. Um, but I think we've made her uh, put her in the right spots there, where she's able to you know benefit from like Claire's penetration and get that. Uh, whereas we used to have her on the perimeter a little bit more, now we've kind of put her down low and let her let her go to work, and I think she's benefited. All right, so a couple of games left. You have uh, UMass on Wednesday, and then yeah. back here to close things out next Saturday, and then it's tournament time. So. You know, how do you feel this game builds you into tournament action and, and maybe get you ready for the next two here coming well, up? Well, we really sold it as we had four when we had Mason. We had four. So I feel like we dropped one, and now we need to, we need to steal one. And uh, we got to go up to UMass on the road, who we've always already played. Uh, and it was a tight game down here, and we've, we've got to be ready to play because they play a, a lot of zone, and they've got some really quick guards that like to drive the ball. And if you're not ready to play, Teams that drive will, will get you in a lot of trouble with fouls and then the free throw line. So we've got to get locked in that we need to steal one on the road. All right. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate we'll it. back here next week. That's Coach Schaefer as we wrap things up here today. Spiders come away with this win, 56-51, in a hard-fought game over LaSalle, but another victory and a chance to move on now as they win this one here. So for our entire crew, Robert Fish saying so long for now. We thank you for joining us here on Spider TV and RichmondSpiders.com. We'll see you again soon.